It's day 97 of my running streak, closing in on that 100. Now you've probably had enough of philosophy for now, so um, I'm thinking we ended yesterday on um, Aristotle and um, one of his most famous students, or his, his most famous student was Alexander the Great. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about him. Now Alexander the Great, as you know, was, was tutored by Aristotle, so he was amazingly well educated. And at uh, quite a young age, he showed a lot of promise because he tamed what his father thought would be an untamable horse. And it worked out that when trying to tame the horse, the horse was afraid of its own shadow. So he tamed the horse by making sure that the horse was looking into the sunlight. And this was to become his war horse. Now, Alexander the Great, as we know him, Alexander wanted to prove himself to be great. And he showed promise as a general very early on. And uh, by the time of his 30th birthday, him and his army had already conquered all of Asia, all of Persia, all of the known world. Now, the, he didn't leave behind much of a, an empire because what he did was basically destroy things. He simply invaded and destroyed cities and empires just because he could, to prove that he could. And in his entire life, he never lost a single battle. Now, during his campaigns, he renamed 70 cities after himself uh, all around his empire. He'd, uh, he'd named a lot of city cities Alexandria, most famous one being Alexandria um, at the entrance to the Nile in Egypt. So, um, so there we have Alexander the Great and he, after his death, he died at 32, supposedly of a fever. So not in battle, so he never lost a battle. But his main influence on us today is the fact that he was massively admired by the Romans and Napoleon and uh, all great military leaders based a lot of what they did on what he did. He had a big impact on the world, even though he didn't leave much of an empire behind a uh, random fact um, about him it was he had two different coloured eyes one blue one one brown one I don't know if that means anything but it must have looked strange so that's Alexander the Great I mean, he was quite young when he died at 32 but he managed to do a whole lot in, uh, in his short life right I'm going to get running I'll see you on the way around Now I do only record one loop because you don't want me to record four, five, six, seven, eight loops. But I am running around more than once. So just thought I'd let you know. I was asked that question earlier today if I was only running around the garden once. So that's day 97 in the bag. Six loops there. As you see, it's quite stony. I really don't want to slip over. Smack my head on one of these sheds or trees. Go to the hospital right now is the last place you want to go to. So there you go. A few facts about Alexander the Great. Might get back out of philosophy tomorrow. If you've got any requests, let me know. My idea is to just like learn to meet new every day. Well, thanks for following me and joining me on the run. Thanks for all your likes and your comments. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.